With the Nihilak language experience, we had to move from face-to-face -face, um, language classes to online um, since March. Um, so that took some time to figure out how are we still going to engage our community um, uh, members, people who are interested in the language. Um, so luckily, uh, there is a team of six of us and one of the individuals who I work with, uh, Bill Cook, is very um, technological savvy. Um, so we've been able to adjust our language classes, our language gatherings onto online learning, um, which has been like really successful. Uh, we have way more, maybe double, tripled the numbers um, of people wanting to learn Cree or come back to the language of Cree online. And it is because we have to make the time. We're sitting at home. Um, and uh, this is an opportunity to sit and learn Cree. Um, and it's uh, free, it's available. Uh, we have amazing teachers that we work with, uh, all master language teachers, um, who all still have community connections to their First Nations communities. Because I'm also a school teacher with the Saskatoon Public School Division, not everybody has access to computers um, or the internet service uh, in their homes. So in that way, for me, teaching the language hasn't been effective with students um, usually under the age of 18, um, but with adult learning, um, these people are, the, the people that I work with are very self-sufficient, so it's been different that way. And throughout the province, speaking with other teachers, um, internet and computers, um, having access to technology uh, is an obstacle. Um, so I, I suppose I could say that. Um, but with the other hats that I wear, um, online learning, um, doing the Zoom um, has been very, very effective in the work that we do in regards to um, creating language curriculum, um, language lessons, um, uh, and I, for the most part, work 50% at home, online, and so it hasn't been a real, it hasn't really affected me negatively that way.